Guys, be very leery of people that come to you and try to redefine what belief and faith mean. Any verse that is speaking about your eternal salvation, you can type it into your Google search bar. Just type the verse reference, like say Ephesians 2, 8 or John 3, 16, and then type the word Greek after that. And then um, it will open up um, a Greek text analysis and you click on the number, the Strong's Concordance number, right above that word where it says belief or faith. And it will open it up for you, show you everywhere else it's used in the Bible. It'll give you the definition, it'll give you context because you can look up all the verses and you can see what it really means. So, um, you know, these a uh, lot of wolves in sheep's clothing, a lot of clouds without water, that are trying their very best and to corrupt the gospel. And they are, one of the sneakiest ways that they do it is to redefine what the words mean. And one that I heard recently was that when it says that we are saved by grace through faith, that faith is our faithfulness. So we are saved by our faithfulness. And that boils down to keeping the commandments, which puts you right back under the law. And it denies the finished work of Jesus and his saving blood sacrifice, his redemption through his blood. And it puts your eyes right back on you. How faithful are you? And so even though if you look up the word faith in Ephesians 2.8, it does say faith, belief, trust, confidence, fidelity, and faithfulness. You can look at everywhere it's used in there. But it's from the 4102 pistis, which means to persuade or be persuaded. Properly persuasion as to come to trust. You have been persuaded. You have come to trust. You have put your trust in this fact. Okay. And when he says that we are saved by grace, you look up grace, which is in Strong's 5485 Cheris, which means grace, a gift or a blessing brought to man by Jesus Christ, a favor, gratitude, a favor or a kindness. And then you can look at every scripture that it's used in and do a word study on it. And that's another great Bible tip, guys, is to do word studies by looking up the Greek interlinear interlinear Greek or Greek text analysis, or you can do Hebrew either way, but I prefer to do the Greek usually. And um, when you look it up in Strong's, it's going to give you, if you go through and read it in every single verse, say you look up grace or faith and read it in every single instance that it occurs in scripture, you're going to get a really good grasp and context of what that actually means. Okay. So it's a really good way uh, to help another way to help study your Bible and enjoy it. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.